What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching MC Car Kid and today we are back in Greenville with the new update that was just added that added four new cars. Those four cars are the 2007 Dodge Caliber, the 2009 Ford Flex, the 2018 Genesis G80, and the 2019 Ford Edge. Of course, the Ford Edge is the car that's right behind me. And before we hop in the car, let's just do a quick walk around. This car is very detailed, just like the Camry that we did. The headlights have more of a 3D design now, more than just the stickers. And you have a nice front grille with the fog lights down the side to accompany the headlights. Along the side, your door mirrors do have the turn signals in them, and you get some nice wheels. In the back, it's also the detail follows through, and you have incredibly detailed taillights with your turn signal and your exhaust down below, which we'll check out. This car is badgeless again, like all of his newer cars that he's added, but let's rev it a few times, see what it sounds like. Alright, pretty decent, not terrible. And the horn. Alright. So the horn is pretty good. Now we can hop off for a drive. But before we do that, the taillights, pretty cool. Headlights, again, like I mentioned, detailed, very detailed. And in the back, when you press the brake, it kind of messes everything up. But turn signals in the back and in the front, as you saw before. Now, let's go take it out for a drive and see what this thing's all about. Right off the bat, you have some pretty realistic steering and speed. It's not fast, but it's not meant to be fast since it is an SUV or a crossover and a family car. What's that cop do? I don't even want to know. Well, this thing, right off the bat, is... We're getting pulled over. Or no, not. Okay, never mind that one. But this thing is pretty nice. And I've kind of been waiting for another Ford SUV. He doesn't have too many, but this Ford Edge, completely redesigned now for 2000. 19 and 2020 but yeah kind of disappointed though that he didn't choose to do the ST trim which would have been cool because you know this game is about driving and potentially I think racing and stuff so I don't I wish he would have done the ST trim but nevertheless it's an amazing car we're gonna drive down this road do a speed test and then um yeah, we can hop in our, in our other cars. I'm especially excited though for the 2018 Genesis G80, which is the next car we're hopping in. That's gonna be pretty awesome. Acceleration though, you're not gonna be able to pass people if you're trying to get into the other lane. You're gonna floor it and they're probably gonna pass you, but again, you're not really gonna be street racing, I would say. It's just going to be a practical car for families, or role plays. 110, 120, and right down the hill, maxes out at 129 miles per hour in sixth gear, which is pretty, pretty darn good. Um, <laughs> good for escaping the cops into that. Let's hop in the Genesis G80 though. That's options. My mouse is freaking out. Jeez. Well, let's hop in the G80 in Parisian Grey. I think. But yeah, this thing is also a very high quality build by me. By him, you have 
nice amount of detail in the front with your headlights that also look like they're 3D. But when you turn the headlights on, of course they turn on. In the back is also very detailed when you press the taillights. So this is a very detailed car just like say the Toyota Camry and that new Ford Edge that I was just in. Let's try out the horn. Another ridiculous horn from him. I'm glad to see that he's using different horns. But yeah, when you turn the headlights on in the rear, it's hard to even tell they're on. Unless of course you go to the front. This thing seems to be pretty fast. I'm not really sure yet. Let's make a quick U-turn here and go back the other way so that we can get a speed test on the highway. You'll definitely be able to tell when somebody has their blinker on when you have the headlights on also because you have them in the door mirrors but you also have turn signals in the headlights like pretty much all new cars have. Yeah, pretty happy about that. This might be my new daily. This or the Ford Edge. Lately I've been driving the Panther and the Volvo V60 so this could be my new car that I actually want to drive. two more gears than the Ford, but it only goes a couple miles an hour more than the Ford. And we're going to make this turn here, because they're doing something over there. We're just going to take the back roads, or something. Parking this thing in the driveway, it's going to be, again, it's going to fit. It's not like the Suburban in this game, which I don't think actually fits in a driveway. May just peek out a little bit. It won't completely fit, but this thing will definitely fit. Again, another luxury car brand that's doing pretty well. All of these cars do have quite a bit of chrome, though. Stupid. But yeah, let's pull over and get in our next car. Next car is the 2009 Ford Flex in white suede. And this is a car that I didn't really expect to be added into the game. Of course, you have the boxy vibe going on in this. And in the front, you have your headlights, your blinkers, turn signals in the back is just the top, and your brake lights is... It's all pretty straightforward with the lights in these cars. It's pretty easy to guess where the lights are going to shine. Horn? Now this is a horn I've never heard before. It has a little bit of delay before you hit it, but I like the new horns that he's using. And this thing sounds pretty darn good. Although, you can't see the turn signal in the back, which is a little bit disappointed, disappointing for role players, but most people don't really mind it. You can't see the turn signal in the back when you have your headlights on. Also, people who buy these cheaper cars don't really know how to use their headlights either, though. So, um, I think this car was about 9000 If we can get to up to speed on this road, that'll be really helpful, but I don't think we'll be able to on 80, 90, 100, 110, no, we're not going to be able to, and they blocked off the road here, so. We're just going to cut through the grass. 
ass there because yeah, somebody obviously crashed. Stupid role plays that go around over here. You can read them. And a new Bloxburg video will be up soon. I haven't uploaded it in a week. I have no excuse for that except I do have two channels. So I'm trying to keep up with both channels. If you guys haven't already checked out my other channel and maybe subscribed, it's called Unbox Central, if you were wondering. Let's go down this road though, get up to speed, and I just completely forgot about it, about the um, speed test. Can we hit it? Yep, 143 in sixth gear. So actually faster than the Genesis and the Ford. So this thing isn't any longer than your typical size car, so it'll fit in any size parking lot or parking spot. I will though drive into this parking lot and show you either way. These cars don't seem to be low either, so you won't have any problems scraping. So these spots are pretty tight, so you you fit perfectly, and if you drive any of the other cars, they might get a little bit tight in the spot. But last but not least, we have the 2007 Dodge Caliber in silver. Of course, these two last cars are less detailed because they know most people, some people aren't going to buy them. But turn signals, headlights, in the back. Headlights, taillights. Again, it's all pretty simple. Mm, this thing. They kind of recycle. The owner kind of recycles the sounds between cars. He used to do that with the horns, but not quite anymore, especially now. So I haven't heard this horn before. And that can get pretty annoying. As you know, most people like to spam the horn, so that could get pretty annoying after a while. Of course, it doesn't scrape though, it's this thing I don't think is any lower than the other cars. Nice X5 right there. Just, uh, I think we'll pull over to the school. Just go over to the school here and. Yeah. Of course this car you Ooh. Wait. Does this only have one gear? We're gonna drive down the highway. A hundred and thirteen is the max speed in first gear? Really? Surprised there's only one gear in this thing. It's not electric. Unless he just messed up the gearing. Interesting though. It's pretty easy to hit that max speed though. 113. That's pretty easy to hit. Under 14 actually I saw it. Let's who wants to fly? Oh, I thought that would be interesting. Now this thing gets up to speed pretty fast. So if you're trying to pass people, you're gonna have no problem in this thing. It does also get up to its top speed rate really fast, which is surprising in a car like this. An old, everyday car. Pretty cool though, how uh, we only put one gear, I guess. Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up though. This update is pretty cool. They added two cars that I'm really excited for. And if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos where I talk about the updates more than really other videos, please go hit that subscribe button. It costs nothing to you, but it helps us tremendously. It helps me tremendously, not us. 
and yeah if you guys like the video drop a like and i'll catch you guys next time peace out